Hello and welcome back to our class. Today uh, we're going to do a project that's kind of a challenge project. And what I mean by that is I'm going to give you some restrictions on a couple things I want you to do. And your, your job is to kind of figure out what is the neatest way or the coolest way to use those things. So um, what I need you to have is a piece of paper. Uh, you're going to want a pencil. You're going to want an eraser. And you're going to need these three colors. You're going to need yellow, blue, and red. Those are the only three colors you get to use for this project. And this is where the challenge is going to come in, is how can you do this project using only these three colors? And I'm going to give you some tips to make an interesting picture using only these three colors. I did specifically pick these three colors because uh, yellow, red, and blue are the primary colors. They're the three main colors that make up uh, pretty much the rest of the colors that you see. So if you mix like red and yellow together, you get an orange. If you mix uh, red and blue together, you'll get a kind of a purple color. If you mix blue and yellow together, you're going to get a kind of green color. And so that is where we're going to kind of use that kind of information to create our picture. So what I need us to do is we're going to draw a very simple image. Okay? You do not have to do the image that I am going to do. Uh, and I'm actually going to give you a, a link in the written directions. So you may have to have your parents help you out with the written directions part because um, the links are kind of a pain to work with in uh, the program. Uh, and it's going to go to a place called Art for Kids Hub. Now, some students already have some familiarity with that uh, website. It's really cool. It's got lots of videos on how to draw little simple pro uh, images that are really fun. Uh, the one we're going to use today is kind of based off one of theirs. Um, it's going to be a kite. And like I said, you don't have to do this image. I'm just doing something kind of simple since um, I want to show you how to you know, use these three colors in an interesting way. So for my kite, I am going to start off with kind of a T that's slanted. And I'm going to connect. tail and then I'm going to use triangles pointing at each other on the tail they look like little ribbons and I'm going to put a cloud over here Sun. I'm even gonna give my son a happy face, super happy face. Okay, so the drawing is pretty simple. That's I'm not going with anything overly complicated because I want to be able to use these colors really well. So the way you can think of them is yellow. Obviously, would make center sense for the sun. So I'm going to color that in and I'm going to fast forward while you see me doing that. Okay, so there's my sun, but I, the whole sun's not quite done. I got this part out here that probably should be done as well. And if I color yellow on that again, it's not going to make, uh, I'll, it's not going to look great. And normally you kind of have maybe a darker yellow or maybe an orange. Well, that's how we're going to do it with here. We're going to use our crayons. Now, if you're using colored pencils, that's great. You can use colored pencils as long as, again, they're the same thing, blue, red, and yellow. So crayons or colored pencils will work on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is lightly color in the yellow. Okay. Now, very lightly, I'm going to color over the yellow some red. I'm going to be very light with it. Now, they're not going to blend perfectly, but they will, if you're careful and you're doing everything lightly, they will blend a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with my yellow one more time, and I'm going to press really hard with my yellow to kind of smoosh it all together. I am pressing kind of hard with the yellow at this point. There we go. And you, 
you can see that I mix them. Okay. I always like to do the lighter color first and then the darker and then the one more layer of light. So that's how I did mine. And if you see, it's kind of got an orangish color. So that's how we're gonna get around only having three colors is we'll do a little color mixing. So in here, maybe I want I want this to actually be purple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna do blue first, and the two colors that make purple are blue and red. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red over the top. Now I'm gonna get a dark purple for this. Usually that's how it works with crayons. It's kind of a dark purple color. I'm pressing hard this time. The last time I do it, it's going to be, so it's got a purpley blue color there. I'm going to do it again over here in this spot. If you're not sure what a color will do if you mix it, what I suggest you do is you can always flip it over to the back side and test it out. So you could always test it out. See that one? Or does red work better? And then put the blue. Sometimes it works better that way. Same thing with the yellow. Does the yellow work good better first? Like that, or should we do red first and then the yellow? That way I know what I'm gonna get when I mix. So this is my picture, and all I used was these three colors to get all the coloring. So this purplish color comes from blue and red. Same thing here. This greenish color is yellow and blue. This orangish color was yellow and red. Okay, and then obviously yellow, red, and then blue for the background. Now this is a one from the idea is not actually mine. It came from our kids hub. It's a YouTube channel. I want to show you two other ones that I did. Same idea. So here's one that, again, this one came from Art Kids for uh, Art Kid, yeah, Art for Kids Hub. And uh, this one, I didn't do any color mixing. I just did the yellow body, a red set of wings, and a blue. So you can do this picture really good and really well without having to do any color mixing. So it just depends on um, how you're working the colors. I want to show you one more. This one came from Art for Kids Hub, again, the YouTube channel. Uh, I drew this, but the idea actually came from them. And again, I did regular blue for the background and regular yellow for the face, but I mixed the red and yellow to make the petals, and I mixed the yellow and blue to make the green that is for the plant. And to get this uh, really dark uh, purplish color, I did the red and blue together to make that. Okay. So again, we're, we're just going to be making an interesting picture using these three colors, mixing them together. And the one thing I didn't show you is if you really want something kind of blackish, if you mix them all three together, you'll get close to a blackish color, kind of like what you're seeing here. Okay. So um, oh, what I need you to do is draw a big picture like I did. Okay. Draw it really big in the space to make it easy. Don't try to go super small and complicated. That's not something that we need at this point. Okay. Uh, upload it to Google Classroom, again, using just your three colors. And I will see you next week.